Herc, just as someone who loves soccer, you just got to be happy for him, yeah? Yeah, you have to be happy for Messi and what he's been able to accomplish. I mean, fifth time's a charm, right? Four finals in Copa America, and it's always something. It's Higuain twice. It's himself missing a penalty. It's just one after the other, and it's that final weight lifted off his shoulders, the ability to achieve something that Pelé ni, uh, nor Diego Maradona have been able to do, which is win an international title uh, in a Copa America. Uh, you can see the emotion in Lionel Messi's face and in his teammates' face. The moment the final whistle was blown, what does everybody do? They go and rush Lionel Messi. It meant that much to them as a team to reward Messi for his greatness, to reward him for what he's done for Argentina. It's 28 years since they last lifted an international title at Copa America for this team and against Brazil. They have never beaten Brazil in Brazilian soil in their history in an official competition. It was Lionel Messi for as bad as he was and as bad as this final was and he himself had a chance in the final minutes to put it away. Uh, it didn't happen for him but it didn't matter how it happened. At the end of the day it was an error, a Lodi error. DePaul great through ball. It was Di Maria with a fantastic touch and finish but it comes off an error. It comes after 41 fouls between two teams, a very pragmatic approach from Argentina, a very strange approach from Chiche and this Brazilian team. But if you ask the Argentine just public and Messi himself, they won't care because football won. No, of course they don't care. But Casey, blooming it. Our producer wants us to talk about more about how bad this game was. <laughs> Oh, uh, <laughs> look, I mean, we know that sometimes finals can be cagey. But this was just kicking. This, there was, this, there was, this was, was not football you, winning. You, you thought from the Columbia match in the semifinal that yes. it couldn't get any worse yep. of just booting uh, each other. And then, yes. yeah, yeah, we were worried about that before coming in, and that's yeah. exactly what it turned into. But uh, it seems to be a theme, though, doesn't it? Yes, yeah. Because Copa America is not I really have, I've not been paying attention to this uh, competition, uh, but I know... Uh, a few of the guys that are over uh, working uh, on the Euros have been in the hotel yes. and out of sheer boredom, they've been watching some of the games and the, the, th the theme seems to be the, the same. It wasn't a very good game, but they were kicking lumps out <laughs> of yes. each other. Yeah. And so, yeah. You, you have no fans. The, yeah, well, your pitch uh, fields were in the, in the best condition, I have to say, yesterday, especially the no. in the final. Um, it's, it's kind of a... You know, something we, we have seen through all competitions like that, that... In South America, when they play, well, Copa America, it's, it's, it's a hard time. You have to kick each other. It's always been very right. dangerous for the players' legs. And uh, we want to see football. Yes. We, so talented players. And you see, you know, a war yes. on the field. Yeah, yeah, they say sometimes it's tricky about South America because they play each other so many times. Right. Because they're playing in Copa America and everybody qualifies. Qualifying, everybody plays against everybody so the qualifying. rivalries are already The rivalries there, are there and they happen all the and time. And they go for it. When you yeah. have Di Maria, Neymar yeah. and Paredes playing together right. for Paris Saint-Germain, <laughs> they've been kicking each other <laughs> like crazy. <laughs> they don't care. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.